There are always going to be curveballs, questions, objections, if you want to call them that. I think those are just sellers seeking more information, especially for you, the new student. And I know that this is what trips you up. I know that for a fact. And I know that because I have the highest level people, for example, in our group in, in, called the High Six Associates. I have 12 of those people personally voice texting me every single night with their metrics for the day and any questions they have. And one person in particular, they all have phenomenal questions, but one person in particular, every single night, no matter what, has between one and three questions for me. And her name is Wendy. And Wendy's question this week was a great one that I wanted to share with you on the Q&A here. And that is, what do I need to know, Chris, if I spoke to a seller last night? She's always very specific. I had this lead and this is what they said. What do I say back? And she said, what do I need to know and or do if someone says they're in the middle of a divorce? Well, so my mind immediately went to a few things. First of all, every time they ask me a question, almost every time, I have an example of a deal we did or several deals we did that had that exact same scenario. So I get to coach them, mini coach them every single day. And so if you haven't had that kind of environment inside the real estate space, I just want you to think about that for a second. Side note. So the answer to that question is, what do you need to know about with the divorce? No particular order. I said immediately you want to know who's on the deed and who's on the mortgage. You can't assume they're both on both or one is, you know, you can't assume anything. Because we did a deal recently, about a year ago, we still own this property, um, where the husband and wife were not getting along well. That's not always the case. It was not amicable. So Zach, my son-in-law, had to speak with both of them independently and try to play referee. On top of that, they were behind. On top of that, they had credit card debt. So it was like a three-way negotiation that was going on. And then to this question, one was on the deed, one was on the mortgage. They weren't, they weren't combined. So that was another whole step in negotiation to go back and forth. So find out, show the answer, who's on the deed, who's on the mortgage. Definitely find out if they've kept things current. Our experience has been usually when it gets to this point, if they're not amicable, it's not current. They just said, screw it, and they let it go. In, in which case, now you're talking probably a sub two purchase because they need immediate relief. They need to get that paint, the arrears done in, in the case of, uh, of our situation. Um, and you need to band-aid that. You're not going to band-aid that if you can't take ownership. So you're not going to do a lease purchase with that. All right. So that's how you handle a potential divorce situation. Um, my encouragement to you, my invitation to you is to work on your scripts. Work on the commonly asked questions. I won't even call them objections because that's not what they are. When people are asking you questions, they truly want to know more. It's not an objection. Um, one great way to do this and for you to stay plugged in and interactive with us on a weekly basis for zero cost is to simply attend our weekly Wicked Smart sit down. It runs every Thursday, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's on Zoom. Someone from our community in the coaching department is running that, usually with myself or Zach or my son Nick. We're always all involved at some level. You are going to take away a nugget every single week. You can bring questions. You can submit deals ahead of time to support at smartrealestatecoach.com. Either way, whether you listen in or participate in that Wicked Smart Sit Down, I guarantee you'll consider it time well spent. For a reminder on that, or if you're not in a place where you can write it down, just go to smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash events.